and spice yeah. And make everything there feel nice Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It's Larisha Andrea. So today is a very, very, very exciting day because today is my official my brand has officially launched on my website and I am so excited, so happy, it's so surreal because I feel like this isn't even like real life right now. Like I feel like I've been like on this whole journey of a roller coaster of being an entrepreneur and having my own business for like the past eight to nine to ten months now and it's just been like an extremely long, long, long journey, okay? So I'm just so happy that it is finally over with. I cannot talk, I'm like, da, da, da. I'm just so happy it's finally over with and I'm just so grateful for, you know, being able to finish on time because I wasn't gonna launch until like January, but I ended up pushing it to like November 23rd. So I'm just so freaking thankful because we literally was like on crunch time when it came to doing this. So I am just so happy with my team. They helped me pull this off so fast. Like we literally got everything done in like two to three weeks and that's crazy okay so i'm just so freaking thankful i want to thank you guys because if it wasn't for you guys pushing me to keep going um i don't know if you guys know but if you're new to my channel hi i'm Lori Andrea, and i just oh i just made my brand called fairy stylish and within fairly stylish is a brand called i lore by Lori Andrea. so i originally had my brand like a few months ago and I had to completely change out everything. I had to change the vendors. I had to, like my itch down to like my lashes weren't even right. Like when I went through and did my mass production of my lashes that I was originally supposed to do, it came out a disaster. So literally my previous vendor for my hair and my previous vendor for my lashes all had to get freaking fired. I wasted so much money, thousands and thousands of freaking dollars. So I was just like so emotionally distraught. And I was just so, you know, I was in a very huge funk. But you guys really uplifted me. You gave me such positive words. And I'm just so grateful for you guys. Because honestly, if it wasn't for you guys supporting me, I wouldn't even be where I am today on YouTube or social media in general. And not only that, I wouldn't even have, you know, I probably wouldn't have been so pumped to start my own business so thank you guys so freaking much like i am just so happy i have a loss of words of what to really say but i wanted to you know touch base on a few things so i just launched my site it's called www.verystylish.com i will link that down below um so that's where you will find everything i do have three collections i have a sale collection a premium collection and as well as a luxury collection and all that can be found like on the home page of it when you first get to the home page you'll pretty much see like six banners that will have all the collections that i just said which was the three i lore by larisha andrea and then you will also see a section called the wig collection so this week my wig collection will be going up on the site i actually just talked to my web designer just now and we are hopefully be able to you know make that activate and make that to go within the next day or two maybe even today you will know on social media so make sure that you follow me on instagram um that's pretty much it i don't even go on snapchat no more but make sure that you follow me on my social media uh, because that's where you will see it first and know it first uh, when i will start to sell my wigs so um you're also going to be able to get pre-made sold but ugh, you are gonna have the chance to get pre-made wigs so basically the wig collection section is going to be like set wigs that's never going to sell out they're always going to be on that section it's going to be like standard wigs so you have your bobs your middle part long your blondes you know typical wigs that you will pretty much wear on an every day and those will be in my two categories of sale collection and premium depending on your budget so sale is more of like the affordable someone that really doesn't want to spend a lot of money on their hair um, and you know so on. I literally have so many textures in the sale that's why I really wanted that section because you have a ton of different textures that you can't get in my premium in my luxury line. Then you have your happy medium which is my premium collection and that section is pretty much like it's not the prices of the sale collection but it's a better quality but not too much of a better quality where it is um you know super priced like the luxury collection then you have the luxury collection you think of luxury you think of uh, you know expensive you think of you know 
you get you get some quality with the money that you put into it and that is that baby so i have a different section for each type of budget different types of styles that you guys like different types of feels of hair and of course later on in my videos like down the line i will pretty much start showcasing every type of texture that I like, um, that I love. Obviously, I like everything on the site, but I don't know what I mean. Like, I, I want to really show you guys, like, my favorite textures out of all of it because it's a lot. It's, like, 70 to 100 different products on my website. It is crazy. Like, I went ham with this. I really wanted to target everyone like i just wanted to be inclusive to everyone whether you're like a more natural type of subtle girl or if you're like crazy big lashes crazy rainbow colored hair like me girl i see you but yeah i really wanted to cater to everybody and i really hope i captured that within my site and i really hope i really gave you guys that with my entire brand so um last thing that i want to say is i do have a sale code right now um it is fs 2018 which is fair dollars 2018 because that's the day or the year that i launched um you will get 25 percent off your entire order because i'm just now making the video on this i wanted to let the sale go on from the day that i put this video out which is tuesday all the way out into next tuesday so you have one week to be able to get 25 percent off of your entire order um, not only that, I will be starting um, to do my sale collection of my lashes. So it was only right that I was able to do three types of different, um, you know, types of lashes. So the sale collection is going to be like my $9 lashes. These are actually old lashes from my other vendor that I did not go ahead and go with. They are still good quality. They're not like shitty quality or anything. They're still good quality, but they're not that good of a quality to be considered like a $20 lash or a $30 lash. You know what I mean? So I want to have a select section within my eye lore by Laura Jo Andrea where I have, you know, a more affordable type of lash and that's definitely worth, you know, the money. So, um, yeah, definitely make sure you guys, I'm going to start this whole little thing called Fairy Stylish Fridays where that will be like dedicated to my whole brand. I'm still going to be doing videos for other companies. You may be wondering like why when you have your own like line, hello. And that's because, you know, some people, as far as my blonde hair, they're mainly going to be like blonde hair videos because my blonde hair is pretty pricey and that's because it's worth the quality, okay? So I really want to still do other companies like AliExpress and just different other um, pricing categories for blonde hair because some people may look at my blonde hair and be like, girl, that is way too expensive, like that is way out of my budget because I just literally have like one type of blonde hair. And some people, you know, probably want to still have blonde hair to um, dye and play with. And I want to still be able to give you guys different options with other companies that I feel is good enough to make a video for and to edit and post on my channel. So, uh, yeah, I did. What is this? So, yeah, I pretty much think that I talked about everything. I did the site. I did my coupon code. And I also did my, um, you know, introduction to my sale collection for the lashes. Cool. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys uh, like my entire website. I worked really hard on that, okay? And I hope you guys just like my entire brand. I hope you like where I was going with the whole, you know, mindset of everything. And I hope you guys are excited to see this rainbow wig. So enough rambling. I was talking for days, but I feel like it was necessary because it's like my big, you know, type of launch review type of video. So... Enough talking. I will definitely put a time, you know, frame down below of where the video actually starts. So if you guys don't feel like hearing my freaking talking, you can definitely just fast forward and just watch the video. So if you guys are ready to see this rainbow uh, custom colored wig using my fairy stylish platinum collection hair and body wave, by the way, then definitely stay tuned. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> Okay guys, so getting right into the video, I'm just going to be doing my Platinum Collection Body Wave hair. I'm just so happy to show you guys this because I've been looking everywhere for like the perfect blonde hair and I definitely have found it. I'm just running my hands through the hair just to show you guys that this hair does not shed. Okay, it does not shed, it is not tangly, it feels 
amazing. And I am just so, so excited to show you guys these freaking bundles and frontals and closures. So I like to just show you guys in the video, just little snippets of, snippets of me making my wigs. I think I'm going to start doing this in my videos only because you guys kind of like just see from a uh, wig from start to finish nowadays. So yeah, I'm showing you guys the thread I like to use. I'm also showing you guys how many freaking needles I like to use. I like to use about 10 needles because it makes the process go by a lot faster. I'm also showing you guys all the dyes that I use. I actually went ahead and mixed the Azure and the Aquamarine together, but we will go about that in later on in the video when I start to dye the hair. But first, let's get into making the wig. So like I told you guys, I like to just use the black thread in the back. It is actually nylon thread and I like to get it from Sally Beauty. I will link it down below with the link to the Sally Beauty website. Uh, once I start to get a little bit closer to the frontal, I will go in with the blonde thread. I think it camouflages a little bit easier. Um, you don't really have to worry about seeing the black thread when it comes to using brighter colors when dyeing your hair. And I just think it just looks a lot better since I've been doing it like this. So this is my full frontal. I told you guys in my, I think Snapchat like a very long time ago and my Instagram story that I do offer two type of densities with my frontals and closures. This is a full version of my Platinum Collection Body Wave Frontal. And just a note, I'm just showing you guys that my hair comes about one and a half to two inches longer than what it says. So this is actually a 18 inch frontal and it measures out to about 19 and three quarters to 20 inches. So just for a heads up, just so you guys will know, um, my bundles and my closures do come about um, one and a half to two inches longer than what it says. So I'm just going ahead and doing my dye job. You guys know, already know, I never, ever, 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 ever know what I like to do for my coloring. I knew I wanted to do a rainbow wig only because it is um, going along with my whole flag series. This is the colors of the LGBTQ flag. So I felt like it was perfect because my entire brand has a rainbow type of color scheme. So I felt like they kind of correlated, worked to both together. So um, we are doing two in one type of video today. So I'm just doing one side purple, blue, and green, and I'm just doing a split dye on the other side, and I'm doing pink into orange into yellow. So pretty much I do split up the dyes of how I do it. I did one side first, show you guys the colors that I use, and then I flipped it over and did it on the other side, show you guys all the kiss colors that I use, and then we go ahead and move on to the other. I will also link down below what colors specifically that I use on each side, just so you guys have it and just so that you guys are noting it. Bounce, 
You could be a player, rap game bland, tunes you got flavor. Yeah, you poppin' all the way from Lagos to Vegas. Did it for the culture, proud that I made this. Need your hands up when you feel that bass kick. Real, real. So per usual, I like to show you guys me rinsing out the hair on video just so you can guys can see, you know, if some of the colors kind of bleed or not. Definitely the more pinky red tones bled. That's pretty much per usual because that is literally like every single dye that the red dyes will bleed. It's just what it is when it comes to that. And then I'm just going ahead and rinsing out the hair. I did go ahead and condition it off camera um, and I let that sit for about uh, two hours or so. And then I'm just going to let it air dry a little bit and show you guys how I like to tint my hair um, this is kind of the step that you guys I never put in my videos because you guys always ask me how I like to blend in my wigs with my um, complexion nowadays when it comes to coloring my wigs I just think this method just makes it look so much easier not easier I just feel like it makes it look so much more seamless when it comes to wearing colored wigs I am more of a chocolate melanin complexion so I just think that doing this step is definitely necessary if you are my complexion or darker it just makes your colored wigs look a little bit more believable obviously you know crazy color hair is not natural but I feel like doing the tinting of the roots and the knots just makes it more seamless so I like to go in with the color tango it's in the color 7NN and also 7B if you guys are my complexion or darker I would say do a little bit more 7B than anything um, but if you're my exact complexion I would say do more 7NN than 7B I know I said this in a video a while ago but you know I felt like it was like meshed in with a lot of the other stuff that was going on in the video so I'm just kind of reoccurring and doing it again in this video because so many people are asking me about the same thing so I'm just letting you guys know the same thing <laughs> so I'm now moving on to the makeup portion I am showing you guys a very simple subtle beat the same beat that I had in the beginning of the video uh only because this is the way I've been doing my makeup lately I've been doing it like this for a long time and I don't know what it is I just feel like I just look so much better when I have less going on if that makes any sense like I know my eyelashes are super duper dumb dramatic but I feel like when my face is like super subtly beat and you know I'm not super crazy contoured I'm more or less bronzed than anything I have like no eyeshadow on maybe a little bit of color in the crease and then some dramatic lashes I feel like my entire look looks so bomb so I'm just showing you guys in the video the makeup routine I like to do pretty much I just like to use the same stuff obviously my eyebrows I did off camera I'm thinking about going ahead and doing an updated brow routine Routine. Um, maybe after I go and get my microblading touch up next week so um, I will probably just put that in my notes in my phone you know for videos that I want to do coming up um, so I would definitely note that like once I get my microblading touched up I will definitely go ahead and do an updated eyebrow routine but yeah I like to use my blush and my bronzer as my eyeshadow colors in the crease and I will go ahead and use my eyeliner just to give me um, you know a subtly type of eyeliner to look because I am going with some dramatic lashes so we definitely want to make sure that we do some type of eyeliner base just so that we camouflage that whole section because my lashes are not that long and we need to have some type of camouflage going on in this area then I'm gonna move on to my face it's so simple I'm gonna go in with my Bobbi Brown vitamin face face literally changed my entire foundation highlight contour routine life I feel like it makes my foundation stay on so much longer throughout the day it makes me look so more of a natural matte it's unbelievable so if you guys are more of an oily combination type of um you know skin type I would definitely highly recommend this product it is pricey because it is Bobbi Brown she does not play when it comes to these prices but I'm telling you it is well worth the investment because it would change your life I'm telling you so if not just go to Sephora get a sample don't tell me or don't 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 tell them I told you that but go to Sephora get a sample if you like it buy it if not yeah um we are now going to move on to foundation I did my foundation I like to mix it with the cover FX power play N100 bomb and then I will end with the NYX or NYX whoever you know the person is who likes to say NYX or NYX I will go in with the shade Mocha from the um, Can't Stop Won't Stop Foundation these two together are bomb.com then I'm gonna go ahead and use two of my concealers the Tarte Shape Tape in Deep and also the Cover FX Power Play Concealer in I believe in Deep 3 
I believe that's what the name is. But I would go ahead and spray my Morphe Beauty Blender sponge with some Too Faced Hangover Spray. I will blend that out with my concealer. It makes my skin look absolutely amazing. Then I will go in with my two Fenty Matte Match Sticks, one in Treple, one in Espresso. I think it's espresso. It's either espresso or ebony. But I would like to use that to contour my nose. I've been using the contour my nose for the longest. And then I would go ahead and use that same espresso shade from the Fenty. Use that to contour my cheekbones. And then I would also blend in my Anastasia foundation stick in the color ebony. Mix those two together using my Morphe brush. And then we will go ahead and use that same beauty blender with nothing else on it and blend that out. Make sure it is flawless and seamless. My favorite. Highlight setting powder is the Too Faced Translucent and Medium. Absolutely stunning. I feel like this powder just melts directly into your skin. This is why I look so airbrushed on camera. It looks absolutely freaking amazing. And I would definitely highly recommend for anyone that is my complexion or darker to definitely get this powder. It would change your freaking life. Um, moving on to the bronzer, the same bronzer that we used in the crease. If I did not say, it is the Bobbi Brown Espresso Weightless Foundation Powder. It is a foundation powder that I've been using as bronzer for four forever now. I feel like it is a perfect red undertone for bronzing my face. Um, dusting away that, what is this? Dusting away that setting powder from Too Faced. I'm gonna use my MAC Studio Fix in NC45. It just makes it be a super subtle highlight underneath my eyes and wherever I would normally highlight. I like to do more of a subtle highlight nowadays than a stark white type of highlight. You know, we are melanin, but we are not trying to take away our color, okay? Um, moving on to bronzing oh no i did that already moving on to my face powder i use my mac natural um skin finish in dark deepest i put on some blush it was um anything but coffee something about coffee from pear minerals my favorite natural nude blush and then i just go ahead and spray my face because we use a crap ton of powder and i will use that same Too faced hangover spray go ahead and seal in my brows this is from Benefit, it is their, I forgot, their brow gel. But anyway, uh, then I'm gonna go ahead and just do my highlight. This is from Bobbi Brown. I use a lot of Bobbi Brown in this video, it's crazy. But I went ahead and used the Bobbi Brown highlight. I believe it's like a holiday duo. Um, her highlights have been my favorite so far, so I just like to use it. I don't really know, I think this is like a, a, a holiday highlight kit. I got it in the mail for a PR, so sorry guys, I don't really exactly know the name. But anyway, I'll put it down below if I do find it on the internet. Um, my favorite lip liner that is not actually a lip liner. This is actually a liquid lipstick from Dose of Colors. I will have to put the name down below, but it's their only brown liquid lipstick. I like to use it as a lip liner. I feel like it lasts a lot longer than an actual lip liner and it makes the process so much quicker because it's not a little tiny skinny little pencil. I like to use that to act as my lip liner and then I'm going in with my fave nude right now. This is from Kylie Cosmetics. I will have to put that name down below too because I forgot, but it is her velvet liquid lipstick. It feels amazing and it smells amazing so those two together are the perfect nude for me then just selling that off with some gloss this is from anastasia beverly hills abh in the color venus it is her lip gloss and then of course i went ahead with my eyelore by loreja andrea lashes and these lashes are in the style anissa so that is the literally the entire um makeup portion so i hope you guys like my little natural beat that i like to do and once my face kind of like settles in because if you guys are oily combination um you know after a while your natural oils will kind of peek through but after that my skin always looks freaking amazing and flawless just like it did in the beginning of the video doing this routine i went ahead with the bold hold active my fave right now so in the beginning of the video i swear to y'all my sides were kind of lifting up but that's because i did not put any of the adhesive on the sides i was just being lazy like i feel like when it comes to these videos i don't be going nowhere i don't go nowhere the only place i go is my couch so i feel like i never feel like sitting and putting on my lace um you know fully because all i'm doing is putting it on literally taking it right off after i film so don't mind that if you guys did see that lifting because i was just being really lazy and i didn't 
tack down the sides with the bold hold active i only use got to be spray i did it off camera but yeah if you guys are gotten to seeing the side slip that's why but besides that the top part was definitely laid hunty and i'm just going ahead and just playing in my hair these curls were done off camera i've curled this hair for the longest i first of all first of all i've had this hair for obviously it's mine i've had it for forever Okay, so this is the first hair I got from my company when I first tried out the hair. And I've had this hair for forever now. And these curls, uh, I pretty much just changed the whole entire way that I like to curl my hair. I don't know if it's the hair. I don't know if it's the way that I curl my hair. But these curls are always in my head. Like, they never drop. They always stay in my hair. And it's freaking amazing. Like, I would definitely probably do an updated version of how I like to curl my hair now. I like to use a wand curl, a different type of... Um, you know sizes and I just feel like it makes my curl stay in my hair so long like it will last for days type of long but anyway I'm just rambling right now anyway I just went ahead to do a little bit of baby hairs in the front and then I went ahead and did my Sebastian shaper spray my favorite spray of all time I feel like it does not make my hair super crunchy and it still gives me a lot of movement I always spray the crap out of my hair with this and it still does not make my hair like disgusting but yeah that is the entire video i hope you guys enjoyed my little rainbow lgbtq flag um type of series video everything into one hope you guys go ahead and check out my website we worked so hard on it i am so happy with the outcome i'm so happy because i designed it and then my thoughts really came to life and i'm just i was blown away when i saw it you guys so definitely check out the website even if you don't even buy anything just still go to the website and check it out because listen it's all worth it um and yeah i hope to see you guys in my next video skincare video will be up this week but anyways i love you guys Bye. Singing pounds, night, I dollar. Pounds, night, I dollar. Pounds, night,